Hey Jenny fam, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all doing well and keeping safe in these uncertain times. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how I do my thumbnails, how I edit my videos, and where I get my music from. But before we get started, if you're a returning viewer, or a new viewer, and you have not subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe down below, like this video, and comment something down below. Before we get started, I really do appreciate it when I see new Jammy fam members. You become one as soon as you subscribe. I love to see all the comments because I always respond and it always makes me have a smile on my face. Without further ado, let's get on with today's video. So, I got a comment asking me how I do my thumbnail. I actually don't, I would think, I don't know if they asked me to tell you how I edit my videos, but I'm just going to go through the whole shabam wham because I know when I first started doing YouTube, like a year ago, I think the first video I've posted on this channel is now a year old, which is absolutely crazy to think because, like, what the frick I don't it doesn't feel like that long if that kind of makes sense um but when I first started posting videos I kind of got really scared like because I didn't know what to do because every single time I tried to search up you know how to edit videos how to make thumbnails how to do all this type of stuff but they never really actually came up with options that were suitable for me because since I'm a teenager I can't pay for things and every time I watch these videos and these tutorials it would always be like a hundred dollars just to open the app but then when you get into the app you have to pay another sixty dollars to use all the features that you need so I'm really happy that I've been through a lot of different editing and a lot of different stuff to kind of get where I am today because if you guys didn't know before this channel I had a channel called Sweet P Roblox and before Sweet P Roblox I had another channel called Lily Lav so I had Lily Lav then I had Sweet P Roblox then I had Jessie's Jams but then I deleted all the videos on Jessie Jams and then I restarted with Jessie Jams so I've had about four channels for experience if that kind of makes sense um so to get started with editing editing um editing your videos so for me i start off with this website called Corp it's either capwing or corping corping i'm um, pretty much it was a really good website to get started with i was able to upload my files make everything look good it offered everything that i wanted until when you logged in with your account you were able to um upload it without getting watermarks on it but then they came up with a new policy where you could only make like two videos a month and then those two videos that month would be without watermarks and then you couldn't make any more videos until the next month um if you didn't pay monthly for this plan or whatever so that kind of set me off that was either corp wing or kaleido i also did kaleido that was a really good one as well um but kaleido had the watermark as well and i just really didn't want watermarks on my video because i just thought it looked really bad and really cheap and then also i got really upset with those youtubers who were just able to make the video so perfect without even editing like i still envy them but i kind of realized that i can't be perfect like them you know what i mean um um, so what I use to this day is called Clip, Clip Champ, Clip Champ, to edit my videos. It is a Microsoft app, and pretty much it works so good. You need to log in, you log in with your Microsoft account, and you can upload your files. You can use your music. You can just do anything you want, and it, it's really good. No hate against Capwing or Kaleido. They are both really, really good video source to start with they have tutorials they have everything they need you go step by step and same with clip clap clip champ like the, the no head against them i just grew out of it and found new editing sources and you never know you might not like clip camp you might like cap wing better you might like kaleido better you might like any other things better but those three ones that i just talked about were the free ones that i started off with but yeah it really took me over about two years to actually find one that i like and i really hope clip camp clip clip champ <laughs> i don't even know how to say it doesn't go premium or doesn't start adding bills onto it but i'm sure it won't so that's how i edit my videos personally i use clip clamp it's pretty it's 
clip champ i can't even speak um it's pretty self-explanatory when you open the editor it just gives you everything that you need if you guys want a more detailed thing i could totally show how i edit my videos like film myself editing the video if that kind of makes sense but that is how i edit my video all right number two that i got asked is where i get my music from so when i first started youtube like i said i had sweet pea roblox lily lab jesse's jams i searched up non-copyright music and all this music came up and it was awesome and i downloaded a bunch of the stuff that i liked um but when i started off youtube a lot of copyright claims came through but i didn't get charged for them if that kind of makes sense with copyright claims the user can either the original user can, the original user can either decide to press charges or not and just ask you to put in a mention or whatever so um if you guys are looking for videos like audios for your youtube video i would search up non-copyright music or even use the youtube library but i would search up non-copyright music and once you find it download it but when you post your video give credit to the original artist in the description so you don't get copyright claims so that's what i really did i can't remember the exact website i got my music from but i use the two audios if you don't notice in background my videos i use the exact same two audios in every video i use on and on and i also use over it so those are the two videos that are the two audios that i use if you wanted to know what the songs i use in my background um but i'm also thinking of extending my library with some more audios and the final question is how do i make my thumbnails easy since i am a teenager and i edit all my videos <laughs> i put all the dedication in i film and i do the thumbnails i literally use pick up picks up that's all I do. I go into Pixar, I search it up on my web browser, and I search up G GFX, and then I search up backgrounds, I search up titles, and I just do it all on Pixar. Make it easy for yourself. Do not make anything harder than it has to be. Um, just make it so easy for yourself, because it's just going to get harder if you try and do more technical stuff, if that kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, I would totally recommend using Pixar's thumbnail template because it fits perfectly and everything like that. So Jamies, I hope that answered every question that that person was asking. I hope you guys enjoyed this informal video of how I do my stuff. I did get asked it quite a lot in the past year on being YouTube, but I just don't know how to explain it properly because like I said, I was still trying to figure it out myself. Like I was totally not sure, but now I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I am sure if that kind of makes sense. But thank you so much for watching Jamie Fam. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment something down below. And until next time, keep kind, happy, and safe. Bye, Jamie. Jamie's.